Hello everyone, this is Jamerica5288 and today is going to be a challenge. A challenge that was placed out there and I said, well, you know what? You grow outside and you obviously grow indoor, look behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to plant some of the plants that um, were hard to grow during the summer, like tomatoes in Texas. I'm in zone 9 now. I was in 8B, now I'm in zone 9. So it gets so hot here that the bigger tomatoes, they don't grow well. They do not grow well. I have never, and I planted these before. The plant grows, but then the sun, the sun um, makes it struggle and it never produces any fruit. It produces flowers, but it never produces fruit. So these are beefsteak tomatoes, and you can see they were four for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I've had them for a while. I used some, that's why they were in this packet right here, because they're usually just in this envelope. But when I open them, I put them in a plastic packet. Talking too much, right? Then I got some Swiss chard out. Something I've never planted before is mustard greens. This one is black magic kale. I don't have that, and it looks it looks so pretty. I saw this on someone else's channel, so I want it. And then something I can never have enough of, celery. This pack's already open. You see that, right? And something that I also had a problem with, and I have two packs of this. I'm going to use the older one, is artichoke. They're both green globe artichokes. So I'm going to use this pack of seeds. They're from two different producers, but I'm going to use this. I just want you to see what it looks like. All of this is going in this tray. And then coffee. Coffee beans. So let's go ahead and so get this. I'm going to put to the side the green globe artichokes. And I'm going to start with this pack. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six packs of seeds. And I have one, two, three, four, five cells. So I'll figure it out. So the first thing we're going to plant is going to be our beefsteak tomatoes. And these seeds are big enough for me to see, so I don't have to put them on a plate. At least I hope I don't. <laughs> Delicately, she takes the seeds out of the packet. Oh, God, I got a whole bunch of them. All right. It's going to be more than two per pod. You see that right now. Okay. Close that back up. I'm going to put one seed here. Two seeds per hole. Um, three seeds per hole. I'm gonna put three of them in there. I don't know how long have I had this packet. 2022. Yes, it's sparred. So the germination rate is not going to be, or may not be, as high as it should be. So that's one of our beef steak right there. One, two, and three. So I'll put three seeds here. One. Two, three, and I have an extra seed in here. I'm um, gonna use that. One more. One more, girl. Since you have it in your hand, it wanted to be planted. Give it a chance. So I have four seeds in that one. So I'm gonna just put T for tomato. BT, beef steak tomato. I'm just gonna put a little bitty markers on it. I'm gonna cut that little piece of the straw off. Take a piece of stick. Don't rub it off, girl. I'm trying to break the stick. I'm going to take my little straw. Do that. And I'm going to stick it in here. BT. That pack of seed is done. Okay, next we're going to do celery. This is tall Utah celery. So I'm gonna take my little pod thing and I'm gonna put three holes in here. Okay, the celery, wow, these are small. Celery, so celery, I'm not gonna plant that deep. The smaller the seed, 
the less the the, the shallow er the hole should be. So I'm just taking and put divots on here because I'm just gonna dust it with a little bit of dirt. Let me pour it in my hand so I don't waste a lot of seeds. Wow, they are tiny, 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 tiny. So I have at least 12 seeds in my, in my hand. You can barely see them. I can see them now that they're in the dirt though. And I'll put three seeds per divot. I breathe too hard. These things blow away. Okay, girl. Okay, and I'm just going to dust it over. Take any big old logs and move them to the side because these seeds cannot take any kind of obstacle in its way. None. They're little. Let me go get my squirt gun. Oh, it's right in front of me. So here we go. We're going to spray these in to make sure they're seeded. That's what I call it. I don't know what the technical term is. That's my technical term. Just a reminder, you do not want to bury small seeds deep. It's hard enough for them to germinate without you, you know. They'll be like, where's the sun? And they're pushing, they're pushing, and they're little. And let me put celery. I put cell, C-E-L. All right, C-E-L, and there it is. Celery is in. There's two packs of seeds done. Planting is all about patience, if you haven't noticed. So next thing we're going to do is kale. Now, I have kale in the yard already, but this is black magic kale. I just got these in. I found this site. I think I heard it from another YouTuber. I don't know. I found it on, on the internet. And I was like, what is this? You know, I didn't know what their packaging looked like. Uh-oh. Got way too many. I didn't know what their packaging looked like. And I was like, what is this? You know, packet full of seeds. I have seeds that I can't plant till summer, but like squash and stuff like that, that I ordered from them. But they have a lot of stuff. Was it me, ML Gardener? If y'all want to know about that, everybody already knows about Baker Creek. So that's where I got these. They got, they got some weird seeds too. Just, well, not weird, but um, rare seeds, just like uh, Baker Creek does. So this is Black Magic Kale. So we're going to put one, two, three. There's a big old log in here. And another one, two, Three. I got more than that in my hand, but this will work. So I'm going to take three seeds out. Oh, shoot. Oh, best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> Drop like three seeds in that hole. This one fell in, so you go in there with the other one. Okay. Where did I get? Oh, here's the seeds. Put these back in. I got three left. Nah. You know what, girl? Just plant them. Plant them. They want to be planted. That's why they fell out of the packet. I have four seeds left in my hand. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put that one there. That one there. Okay, 
And we're going to cover those up. And then we're going to put black magic. I'll put magic kale. I just put magic. Something's moving around in here. It's a worm. E M K A L E. Uh oh. Okay. B M K L. There we are. So I'm gonna take my little kale seeds, try to seal it back up. This is why I put them in the plastic bags because once you open the packet, it's really hard for a lot of them to reseal. So this will probably go into, this is why I put them into those little plastic bags. Okay, now this is something I have never planted before. And you know, I don't, it, I don't think I've eaten mustard greens before. I don't remember ever eating them unless somebody gave them to me and I didn't know. So this is my first thing. I heard they grow really big. What is it? Tot seal? I don't know. Maybe my pronunciation is wrong. T-A-T-S-I-O. And it says it's an annual. So it says kale is an annual too. So that is. I don't know how true that is because I've had kale go biennial. They lasted two years, at least down here. Maybe they're talking about in the colder climates because kale, kale will stay around two years, most kale. Mustards, I don't know because I didn't plant mustards. So I've got three holes here. These seeds are pretty big. Let me not dig it too deep. I'm getting overzealous. All right. Uh oh, here we are. All right, all right, Jamerica, here we go. I'm putting two seeds per hole. I have three holes in here. Making sure I get germination. They'll probably germinate. These are these are fresh seeds. I just got them in the mail. Um, that man, I don't know. I want I don't know. I want twelve of them. All right. I always do that, and then I end up with all of these plants, and I'm like, how am I gonna take care of all this stuff? I understand now why some some gardeners, if they get extras, like if they get double double germination or triple germination they just throw they just rip one of them out and we they, they thin them out they call it thinning that's why they do it because i mean taking care of, if you only want three and you get six <laughs> that's a lot of work but i you know what i have room for this stuff so i'll if i get double germination which means i'll get 12 mustard greens or 12 kale i'll just take half of them outside the, the challenge is still on. I still have them in the house. I just don't don't want to thin it out and just throw it away. I don't like throwing away stuff. Don't like throwing away something I work for. All right. And you see I'm working for it. So this is mustard. I'll put M-U-S. Mustard. M-U-S. This is my first musters ever. And I, I didn't think about it until so somebody mentioned mustard greens. Because if you don't eat something, you're like, I'm not, you know, you don't even think about planting it. Hopefully I like it. If I don't, it's all right. Okay, and something that I grow all the time, but this is a different type. This is Swiss chard, but it's orange Swiss chard. I don't have any orange Swiss chard. This is my thirst. You're my latest. Baby, you're my greatest. My latest, my greatest inspiration. Keep on taking me higher. All right, don't mess up that poor Teddy Pantagrass song. Poor man. Wait a minute. Let's see. 
get that out of there. I'm getting all these big old sticks. Big old sticks. Three holes. Where I'm found his way back into the cell. I don't see him squiggling around anymore. Here's a baby worm. All right. <sighs> Swiss chard. One seed per per hole. They're big. They're big seeds. I hope I didn't plant those mustard seeds too too deep. Because they were oh, Man, I dropped one in, dropped one in the same hole. Here it is. Is that a seed? Yep. All right. That's three in. Okay. Here's another three. One, two, three. Mustards are in. I mean, Swiss chard is in. Orange mud Swiss chard. Here's my straw. So I'm put or, O-R, Swiss. Hopefully my old, old ticker clinks in like an old rickety clock. <laughs> what did I do? I'll have to go back to the videos a lot. S-W-I-S, or what, or I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> like, what is that? And then when I watch the video, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So I have my Swiss chard planted, orange Swiss chard. Now I only used half the tray. Orange Swiss chard, I planted two, four, six. No, oh, yeah, six of them, total of six. I have my mustards. Mustards are really small. And I hope, I hope they come up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put three more on top because I don't. I think I planted them too deep. Talk about obsessive compulsive, Jamaica. I think I planted those too deep, and they will not germinate if they can't get through the soil. The weird thing is. I do that and then it doesn't come up, right? But you think that the seed's not dead. The seed just is there, dormant. And then I plant something else and I churn the soil up. And I'm like, what is that coming up? That's not that's not an artichoke or whatever else I plant. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna put two, two or three more in there. So that's my mustards. Mustards are planted. Okay. Got that. Then my kale. Kale, I just did divots. So that should be fine. The black magic kale. That's done. <clears throat> celery. Then we'll kind of, this is tall Utah celery. I planted that. I have to put these in small. These, these are all open, so I'm gonna have to put these in plastic bags. And then my beef steak tomatoes, which is already in there. There's some erroneous seeds in there. It won't come out. They don't want to come out. So it's all right. I don't even know if this is seed, but I'll cover it up. Beef steak is done. All right. So that's a lot, right? We only have half of the tray done. Flip it around. Now for the big seeds. I have, how many? Four, eight, 10 pods left. And I have these big old seeds. So I have my artichoke. I'm put two per pod. And I'm gonna plant four of them. They did not germinate well for me. I have one artichoke out there and I planted them over and over and they germinated. They, I shouldn't say they didn't germinate. They germinated, they just died. Maybe they maybe they can't take the heat because it was, uh, if you follow me, I'm in central Texas. 
It used to be zone 8B. This summer was scorching hot. It was very hot. So I'm putting two C's per pod, although they're huge. And if I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna put one per pod. Cause they're big C's, look at them. I just hate wasting space. We'll see. All right, that's two. That's three. Not the whole. That's four. Yeah, one for good luck, huh? Five. Okay, I'm covering them all up. And I am going to get a straw. And I'm going to put art twice. Art for artichoke. It doesn't look like art, Jamaica. It looks like smeared nothingness. A R T. All right. That one and that one. Uh -oh. I'll get that later. So these are green globe artichokes. Break your stick off. That's one, two. Artichokes. Put this right here. Yeah, we're gonna stick this in the ground. Let's see, we're gonna stick it in. Should be higher than that, but arts. Take another one. Put this in and art. We're good. So we have our artichokes in coffee plant. Oh man, this thing. I didn't open it. How am I going to complain if I didn't even try? I had a coffee plant, but I bought the plant already um, germinated and it died on me. I think I forgot to water it. It was like a little thing and it sat in the front. I don't, I'm not buying any more little plants. I, I'll just do it myself because I'll remember if I do it. But if I buy it and it's not big, it gets lost in the jungle over here. Then it uh, dies. They just shriveled up and died. I bought them on Etsy. And they were well, they were nice plants when I got them. I told you, you know, I'm not, I mean, I, I have luck with, with plants, but what you gonna say if you don't if you don't do what you're supposed to do? Yeah, I'm not gonna blame the the um the grower, because when I got the plant, it was healthy. Just me. I also bought some, um, and I buy things that ain't, the, ain't that it aren't supposed to grow here in, in Central Texas. Like, I bought for some um, breadfruit. I love breadfruit. If you if you ever go to Jamaica or to Hawaii or to any tropical island, get some breadfruit. It's good. This is a huge seed. I'm just going to put one in here. That's one. And I bought the breadfruit and they died. I wanted to cry. They were expensive too. It's a tree. Breadfruit tree. Okay. So I have four. I don't want four. I don't want four. You already put it in there, girl. I have four coffee, uh, they're already wet. I have four coffee bean plant, um, seeds planted. Let me get a, where's my straw? Oh, I dropped it. The floor is all dirty now. Okay, coffee. Coffee, coffee. C-O-F-F-E. 
I should have planted coffee a long time ago. You know how much coffee I drink? Every morning, I drink one cup. It used to be worse. I used to drink coffee all, all day. All day long. Till I found out that it um, jacks up your insulin levels. <laughs> then I was like, ooh, girl, slow down. So now I just drink one cup in the morning. C-O. And I'm a coffee snob. I look for Cafe Du Monde. And if I can't find Cafe Du Monde, I just give up and I buy the cheapest thing I can find. And I was like, are they, are they protesting Cafe Du Monde? Because there used to be, Cafe Du Monde is not, is an orange can Louisiana coffee. And it used to be where I could see it. I went back in that store. Cafe Du Monde is on the bottom shelf. I said, are they going to stop carrying it? Why is it on the bottom shelf? Why are they mad at them? And then there was only one can left, so I ran out. There's another one that I buy here in Austin. It's um, Rudamaya. Rudamaya coffee. I've been drinking that for years. I was drinking that in Iraq. We came here and visited um, Austin and um, started drinking Rudamaya at a cafe in, in um, Southeast Austin. South. Yeah, Southeast Austin, near, I think it's St. Mary's. It's right behind there. And I got hooked to it. I think that cafe belongs to Rudamaya. And I, I had a friend who used to send it to me in Iraq. And that coffee is good. Rudamaya is good. They sell it at Costco here in Austin. And um, I've been hooked on that also. But I like, I like, um, Cafe Du Monde better than Rudamaya. Rudamaya is good, but it's not as smooth as Cafe Du Monde to me. And I didn't start drinking Cafe Du Monde until I went down to um, New Orleans. And that's where I went. I went and got some beignet. Beignets. I think it's from Cafe Du Monde itself. I think that's the name of the place. I went and got some beignets and got the coffee. Man, hooked. Hooked. I have been hooked ever since. So I have two more pods here. I'm going to go and find some kind of seed to plant here. I don't know what it was going to be. That didn't take long. I couldn't find the regular eggplant, but I ordered apparently from M ML Garden Gardener. They had Casper. Why is my thing shaking? Did I get that thing? Casper eggplant. It was sitting right on top of the desk. That's what we're going to plant. I have some eggplant. Oh, these are small. I have some eggplant outside. Eggplant is another one that don't like the heat. Heat. Why do I have a packet here and no seeds in it? I'll use that later on. So let's go ahead and find. Where's my straw? I don't have any more straw. <laughs> a little divot left. I'm going to use this bad boy. So these seeds are small, so I'm not going to bury them deep. I'm just going to dust them. Make a little indentation. That was my chickens. They're fighting with each other. Okay. I saw a cat yesterday. I was like, you better swan to her your butt out of my yard. I'll get my BB gun. The hawk was here yesterday also. So that's three seeds, three eggplant seeds I have in my hand. Very small. Not as small as some of the other ones, but it's small. They're the size of um, tomato seeds. I'm just gonna plant four. Ah, I'm gonna plant six. This is my first try with this um with this company. Hopefully it'll, you know. Come on. You know what? Four. I'm gonna move one of those. I don't want a bunch of um they only have so much room in the house. Okay. That's the thing about growing indoors is that you run out of room. You run out of room and 
what do you do? I mean, can't live like that with a forest in your house. Although I have a forest behind me. Okay. So those are Casper eggplant. I'm just gonna put eggplant on there. And I'll probably be I'll probably be freaked out. Be like, why are they white? Why? <laughs> Something's wrong with my my eggplant. They're albino eggplant. There you go. E G G. Done. Tray is done. Let's do inventory, man. Oh, my, I gotta soak the the um. Yeah, soak these. So that'll be another video later on today. It'll be another day for you, but it, it'll be later on today for me. So I got the Casper eggplant. I got the coffee. I've got the what is that? <laughs> got the coffee. I've got. Oh, coffee, coffee. Then the artichoke. So it's eggplant, coffee, coffee, artichoke. Let's flip this around. Turn this around. Then I have the orange Swiss chard, the mustards, the black magic kale, the celery, and the beefsteak tomato. Welcome to week 2023. You think it's over, but it's not. So then I take it and I put it in a cement tray and I water it. There's water down here. See that? It's wet. I don't want a lot of water, but I want enough water down there so that the bottom, you know, the soil stays moist. And, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, continue to put water in this every day until it germinates. And once it does, let me show you where it goes. It's very rustic setup here. I have two grow lights and you can see I do this all the time. Um, I'm still growing stuff because I'm in zone nine and I can, I can still grow. It's not cold. It's cold, but it's 55 degrees cold. But we don't get really cold until February. And then we just have short spurts of, of cold. So as you can see, I've done a couple of them and you can too. This is going to be growing indoors. I'm not going to, I'm not entering these. These are bell peppers and a couple of other things. But this is how it's done. This is how I do it. I don't have anything special. Um, and you don't have to have anything special. Just buy a couple of $20 grow, grow lights and cement tray and you're in business. This is Jamerica5288. I thank you guys for being with me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.